Hi guys, welcome to Motor Capsule. So today's video is about the new SD model SD Adventure. So let's start with design. The new SD Adventure is now available in three colors, which is the silver, black, and Ranger camo. The meter console is adjustable, like you can able to tilt it as per your needs, which is a very good thing. It has a speedometer. You can set it into miles per hour and kilometer per hour. The tachometer, the odometer. Two trip meters, the fuel gauge, the gear position indicator, time, 10 by 10 navigations, and the ABS modes, etc. You can change the ABS modes as per your needs. Just to give a long press on the down arrow button. So, talking about the engine, this engine is borrowed from the Java Parak 334cc and it's retuned. The throttle body and some internal parts are different. The new SD Adventure has good refinement, really smooth. The power delivery is little linear in the initial RPMs. Most of its performance is focused on its mid-range. That's when it feels more torquey. The low end torque is not so bad. I felt only a very small amount of vibration at higher RPMs. It's quite manageable. The heat management also is quite good. You might feel minimal heat if you're riding it in the bumper to bumper traffic scenarios or at tough terrains. The fueling is not very precise and the throttle response is good. The pickup and the torquey engine character could feel once you cross 4000 rpm. The performance is good in this motorcycle. It feels like we are more engaged on this machine. The acceleration is quite quick. The engine is more responsive. You could reach 0 to 80 so easily and quickly. Anyway, overall the engine is good in terms of performance and the refinement. So talking about the clutch, it is not so hard and it's not so soft. It's in the medium side. It has a six speed gearbox. The gearbox is quite smooth. The gear shifting is precise. It has taller gear ratios. The bigger sprocket gives enough feel, but we need to do frequent downshift when we ride it in the city and off road. So talking about the ergonomics, the seat height is 815 mm so that it's suitable for medium tall height persons and tall height persons. It's really apt for 5.7 to 6 feet persons. The seat is quite wide and spacious for the rider as well as the pillion. The seat cushion is medium stiff. We get good comfort while do touring. The grab rail is really strong. Uh, the foot bug position is bit rear seat. The handlebar position is semi upright. It has a semi flat handlebar and it's very wide. You could add an aftermarket handlebar racer if you stand and ride so that it would be more easy when we do offers. Overall, it has very relaxed riding posture. The ground clearance is 220 mm, so it's really good. So talking about the weight, the weight is 188 kg, but we don't really feel when we ride this motorcycle. Really feels very lightweight when we compare to an adventure motorcycle. It's very nimble, the maneuverability is good. It's really fun oriented and you could filter through the city traffic very easily. The stability is good. We get enough confidence when we do 3 digit speeds. Talking about the suspension, the suspension setup is medium soft in the front and it's really super soft in the rear. It has linkage type suspension setup in the rear so it's really comfortable. It feels more plushy. The potholes and humps doesn't matter for this machine. Talking about the tires. SD Adventure comes with tube tires and spoke wheels. It has dual purpose tire which is from C8. You get decent amount of grip from the road as well as off road. The front tire is 90mm and the rear is 130mm. The 21 17 inch spoke wheels will give good confidence. So talking about the brakes. The brake feedback is progressive. The brake bite is not so sharp but you will be confident when you do hard braking. You could change the ABS modes depends on your needs. It has road, off-road and rain modes. The road ABS work like normal. The off-road modes means the rear ABS can switch it off. And the rain mode ABS is really sensitive. Overall, I am impressed with the brake setup. So talking about the mileage. It has 15.5 litre fuel tank capacity. So it's a good tank range. This machine will give 28 to 32 km per litre approximately in the usual ride. You may get 33 to 35 km per litre in the highway, depends on your riding style. Talking about the 
build quality the fit and finish is quite good the paint quality is like i don't say it's premium but it's not bad the welding quality needs to be improved the switch quality feels fine the seat cushion feels really nice so what's my verdict what's my view of this motorcycle i'm impressed with the engine really usable and really friendly the initial pull is quite quick and it performed very well in the mid rpms the acceleration is punchy the flexibility of this motorcycle is really good you could maneuver through the city traffic very easily the seats are really nice it's suitable for medium tall and tall height persons if you are less than 5.5 feet then you may have tipped up the adjustable mirror console is nice the headlight led setup is powerful brakes are good and let's talk about some improvements in this machine sd would have given some different approach to the design areas because i couldn't able to find the wow factor in this motorcycle design the welding quality needs some improvements last but not least i really impressed with the new sd adventure engine performance and ergonomics really a good user friendly adventure touring machine the on road price in bangalore is in between 2.7 to 2.8 lakhs So that's it about this motorcycle. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Until then, love from Moto Capsule.